Hey, what's up you guys? Tom is back with another Lincense video. Today we have a fragrance from the house of Serati, but before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, the tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you watch me right now shaving. Who knows? If you are watching me while you're shaving, hopefully, hopefully, you have one of the blades that I've discussed in plenty of these videos. However, if you don't, Good luck. As you guys can see, I am rocking a new look. This was not uh, done uh, purposely. It was an accident. Man, you guys know when you have that beard, sometimes it's just not grown in right. So you go to make one little uh, adjustment, and next thing you know, it's messed up. So you just got to take it all off. But the baby-faced fragrance lover is here. baby face fragrance boy is here. So... With that being said, if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. So, Sarati, not Saruti, Sarati, okay? S-U-R-R-A-T-I, Sarati, okay? This is made in the Saudi Arabia, okay? Now, so I think that is, uh, Saudi Arabia is Middle East, correct? Yes, I think so. Um, this is Sarati, and this is Royal Musk. That's the name of the lineup, I think, Royal Musk. And then this one is Patchouli Apple. So I'm expecting a fresh, fruity, uh, musky thing going on here. So here goes the bottom. We've got a QR code if you want to go to their website. They do have a website. Here goes your uh, date of uh, this thing being of existence, 2020, and says uh, expired in uh, 2025. So good five-year thing going right there. So. Sorati, okay. I've never heard of this. Got this from my guy out there in California. So go check him out. I'll leave the description for these down below, especially if they're good. If they're bad. We don't care what they smell like. Okay? Smelling something from this box already. Maybe it could just be the box, but take a look at that box. Uh, pretty cool. I mean, it's got this almost like this giraffe. Looking design on the outside, and then you got this inside with that again, Royal Musk. Okay, and there it is again, Sarati. Okay, Sarati from the Saudi Arabia. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this is all about. Take a look at this. This is like uh, Tampico. You guys know the Tampico, the green drink. Look at this juice. What is that? I don't know if this is cologne or am I supposed to uh, mix this in a cocktail? Who knows? But take a look at that bottle. Very nice bottle. It's got this uh, kind of almost rectangular-ish slash diamond slash uh, shape of the whole bottle. Whatever the shape is, it's kind of like a rectangle, but it's kind of got these little edges to it, too. So overall, let's see what that cap is like. Cap is actually pretty cheap. So there you go. Weird looking juice. I don't have any juice that looks like this in the collection. So let's see what this smells like. I'm hoping this stuff does not melt my skin on the way. It's kind of kind of got a stickiness to the top of this. So I don't know. Maybe this is juice. Who knows? Let's spray over here. Sticky. Okay, you got to kind of work that sprayer. Definitely super musky. It's kind of one of those fragrances. I think you really got to spray and then kind of move around. Get that, you know, get that air and all the elements kind of working along with that fragrance because it didn't seem that strong when I first sprayed it. But now that I'm moving my hand a little bit, definitely getting this fresh, fruity, again, super musky. Let's get closer to it. Look at that. A lot of juice but again you had to work for that spray so i don't know if it's maybe the sprayers that they use but uh that is that and again these were like 40 45 bucks i think maybe that might have been a little bit too much given how that cap was pretty weak and the sprayer seems kind of weak but it's all that matters is what this smells like okay oh 
Oh. Okay. This... It kind of smells like one of those... It's almost kind of like waxy-ish slash candle-like. Smells... Again, you get this very nice crisp apple, this green, luscious apple in the air. Now, this is not like the one that I just did yesterday, Midori, okay? This doesn't have that 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 kind of green and stuff like that. This has just a really fresh... You take, like, fabric sheets, and you, like, just... You just roll... You take that fabric sheet, and you, like, cut up a green apple, and you roll that into that fabric sheets. And that's what you would get with this one, okay? Now... It's very clean. It's very elegant. It's an elegant fragrance. Even with that apple, you think apple, you think probably just automatically just go outdoors, go do some business. But this is like an elegant setting fragrance, in my opinion. Now, a daytime elegant setting, like a wedding, this would be perfect. Going to a nice uh, dinner date, a uh, nice little lunch dinner with the wifey, or maybe meeting her parents for the first time. Maybe you want to make a, like, a nice lasting impression. Again, this is very green apple wrapped in fabric softener sheets, fabric sheets, okay? Think of that. Think of that combination, and that's what you get with this one. Now, would I recommend this fragrance, though? It all depends. If you like that type of fragrance that's super musky, okay? Again, you get that br bright, fresh green apple in this one as well. But I think it's more of that musky, that musky, again, that fabric softener sheet. That's kind of what I'm getting mostly with this fragrance. Now, again, that apple is right behind. It's definitely helping out this fragrance because I think this would be a little bit too, if you think about it, when you, you smell fabric sheets, if you just keep smelling it, you kind of get a headache inducing, uh, uh, head cold and headache and stuff like that. But you add that little bit of fruit, that fruit element, that nice green apple, that crisp, that fresh that you get from a green apple, then it kind of brings this fragrance together. Okay, again, green apple and musky. Again, fabric sheets, green apple, cut up however you want it. To, because again, nice know the green on the inside smells kind of sweet sour. That's what you get. You smell the skins. That's where you get that fresh green smell. Okay, so, but this is just like a nice cut up piece of apple where you get that flesh and you get that skin. Slightly, I'm starting to get some slight woods in here now, okay? You know what? This is one of those fragrances that I'm going to have to work on a little bit more. I'm going to have to use this during the day, go out and maybe sweat a little bit on this and just see what it's all about. But overall, I'm just like right here with it, okay? I like it enough to, this. this would actually be a nice... Um, again, it's an elegant fragrance, but also yet soft enough to kind of just lounge around the house. Maybe if you're like me, you like to wear fragrances before you go to bed, it's kind of something for that too. But again, with that, that fresh musky fabric sheet smell, it smells elegant, especially with that apple included. So man, the apple is very nice in here though. When you do get that hint of an apple, you don't. You just get a overall freshness in the air, okay? But when you get closer, you do smell that apple. You do smell that fabric sheet smell, that musky smell. Man, I wonder if I'm going to be sticky. I am. This might be like, uh, I don't know. There might be like juice in there, okay? And you know, the cool thing is, though, is I'm thinking about it. I don't know what they used in this fragrance, but because it's kind of slightly sticky... I'm wondering if this thing is going to last a little bit longer because it's going to be like kind of stuck to your skin. Doesn't seem like this is something that you can just, you know, just wait a few hours and it just like, you know, just dissipates. You might have to actually take a shower to get this off, this this residue, if you will. Okay, so take a look at that. Again, that is that Serati Royal Musk, the patchouli apple again, bright, fresh, crisp, slightly sweet because it is apple. And then that fabric sheets, that musky, okay? That's what you get with this fragrance. Again, Serati Royal Musk Patchouli Apple. Again, you know what? 
I'm not going to recommend this one just yet until I get a little bit more time with it, okay? But if you think about it, okay, if you like that kind of where I'm going with, with that, with the fabric sheet and apple, if that kind of gets to you, okay, this is not like Midori. Midori is just a little bit better. Even though that's got the apple to it, it's fresh. It's kind of got that aquatic smell to it as well, that more green, earthy and stuff. This is just fabric softener sheets with apple, okay? So that's what you get. With that being said, I'm going to get a body here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.